So we're here at uh, DuPont. So who are you? Hi, my name is Steve Willoughby, and I'm here with DuPont this year. So we've got a lot of really exciting things to talk about that we've developed over the last year since we last spoke. So this technology here is called in-mold electronics. What this does is it allows you to take and print graphic inks and conductive inks together on a sheet of polycarbonate. Those go through thermoforming and ultimately through injection molding to create a part that literally contains electronics. Now what's super cool about this part is first of all you can develop shapes that are otherwise impossible to achieve with any other technology and it eliminates buttons and switches so this can make a part inside of for example an appliance, an automobile about 70% lighter and about 50% lower cost. 70% lighter? 50% lower cost. Because this goes into a real shower? So this particular part is a demonstration to show how robust the technology is, that it can operate in one of the probably least friendly environments possible for capacitive touch. In a real world, I'd see a part like that probably going into, for example, an appliance or an automobile or even uh, for consumer applications where you want to add functionality to plastic without adding complexity. Nice. Uh, that's awesome. So can we see some of the... What, what is that? Sure. So over here we have a few different examples of printed electronic applications. This one here is a seat heater. So this is actually an automotive seat heater that would be found inside of a car. So it's light and it goes into the seat nicely? It's light, it goes into the seat nicely and what's really neat about this is it uses a very specific carbon that's a special heating material. So that heating material self-limits. So the very specific properties of the material actually cause it to unwind at a very specific temperature. So the seat heater gets uniform heating across the seat and also it cannot overheat no matter what you do. You could stab that thing and basically what would happen is the other little heating patches around it would pick up the load and heat it in the local way and it's physically impossible to overheat because those carbons unwind and don't allow it to do so. Nice. And then we have a couple of other samples here and what's really cool about these two samples is that these two samples ex represent radically expanding the range of substrates available for printed electronics. When we spoke last year, almost all printed electronics were on a PET type of substrate that needs to cure between about 120 yeah. and 140 degrees C. Yeah. Today, this sample, the black one, is actually printed on PVC with a set of inks that will screen print on normal equipment and cure at 60 C. And this material is our new Kapton ink that will operate at temperatures up to 230 degrees C. So over the last year, we've gone from printed electronics being a material that operates below 120 C and cures in that range to a material that can go on plastics like PVC, polyolefins, acrylics, polystyrene and can go on to on to Kapton and operate in very high temperature and challenging environments. Nice. So, uh, how many how many uh, devices uh, are gonna have this kind of technology? How soon? How, how fast is it moving with the print electronics? Sure. So each of these technologies is pretty exciting in its own way. We're already working with uh, almost 40 companies on the in-mold electronics, and we see that number increasing radically because we just launched that a few weeks ago. Uh, the printed electronics application are starting to take off and we can see a wide variety of heaters uh, being some of the early applications but certainly see it expanding more broadly. And then the other story that really is especially interesting right now is our wearable electronics. So when we spoke to you guys a year ago, uh, we were launching our very first wearable electronic materials. Today over 150 companies are working on real world products using these materials. We see the first applications of these rolling off the line around Christmas to be purchasable by consumers. And when you think about it, think about smartphones, right? We all have maybe one smartphone, but think about clothing. We've all got a lot of clothing. Within five years, we see smart clothing outselling smartphones. So you're totally going to be into smart shirts, smart... Uh, jackets, smart everything, Absolutely. smart pants. Absolutely, and we're continuing our investments. As a matter of fact, yesterday we formally launched five new products for our wearable electronics line, increasing the performance with stretch and adding a carbon material 
and a silver silver chloride material to give highly sensitive sensors as well as highly washable sensors. So what is that? So this is a particular demonstration piece on Lycra showing the stretchability of these materials that demonstrates some of the newer con conductors in the system. Nice. And when you look at the applications for these, what's really cool in the breadth of applications, here just in real applications that customers are doing with us, we have a foot sensor. This is from, real? Yeah, this is an application a company called Bebop's working on. So this goes and has pressure sensors at your feet all the way through an EEG sensor for your brain. This so from muse. your head to your feet, this is the Muse. And it's real Panak, right? Yes. And so what's going on here? How did you, what did you enable with that? And uh, so that's actually the conductive traces and the sensors. And then here we also have a um, smart glove that's being used for gaming applications. Uh, we're working with the company on. So a fairly interesting, fairly extensive uh, array of materials. And then of course this is part of a smart shirt. You can see the shirt actually on the mannequin back there, the red shirt. I mean you have the guys that... Yeah, so wh where is it, the technology? And this specific shirt is actually made by the Holst Institute, and it's a demonstrator of a smart shirt bringing additional capabilities in a very comfortable, pleasant form factor to the market. Awesome. And uh, what is that, the lights up over here? Yeah, you definitely don't want to. So, this is another example of our in hole technology. This particular part yeah. was made by a company it's be called Tactotech. You know, and it demonstrates it. Um, how right you can get a right very right. beautiful, one thing, so much of part using in mole technology. The it's the, the same technology we saw in the shower demo earlier. Now, where it's not really the most ideal connection. Awesome. So, a lot of things are happening in the printed electronics industry, and you're very busy at DuPont. Absolutely. We're very excited about the potential that the, uh, that the uh, industry offers. Our customers are really excited, as you've seen around the booth. Um, we really see a lot of uh, potential this year for this to be a breakout year as these materials get to be uh, embraced in a lot of new applications. And how, what's the best way to accelerate and get this to market even faster? Uh, customers just need to be more and more excited about this and just say, come on, uh, we want to have it? So we would say a few things. First of all is collaboration. Uh, we've been working very closely with a number of different companies on these applications and we're really eager to find the right partners to bring a lot of these things to market faster. We also could see a lot of new applications coming just from the market adopting it and consumers starting to adopt them in the smart clothing space. That's particularly exciting. Think about the use cases, right? Imagine uh, today you have a baby monitor. Imagine if you could track the heart rate and the breathing of the baby. All of a sudden, that's a compelling use case. Does that work? Is it possible to do all that, like heart tracking, breathing? It, it works already? That is possible today with these materials. And on the bottom shelf, you can see some materials that are in yellow and in the front. The materials in yellow are printed electronics on Kevlar, the same material that's used for bulletproof vests. Can we bring it up? Absolutely. Yeah. So these are material, this is on Kevlar. So Kevlar is the material used to protect, for example, our first responders with bulletproof vests. And this has printed electronic materials using our technology on Kevlar. So DuPont's invented Kevlar. DuPont's invented the electronics. We bring those together. A powerful solution. And you can imagine some really interesting applications for that. We've got a similar application with Nomex, which is the fabric that protects our firefighters as well. So they definitely need uh, uh, biometrics monitoring. Uh, along with other types of monitoring and sensing. So we can see that being a really interesting area as well. So how many sensors work with printed electronics? You have heart rate, you have breathing, you have temperature, what do you have? That's possible. There's EKG, EMG, um, we've, seen, we've seen temperature, heart rate, breathing, and as our customers are trying to do new products, we're seeing things that are so creative that we've never imagined uh, that are going to be coming out in the not too distant future. For example, like this, these dots over here are sensors, basically? That's correct. These dots are sensors. In this case, it's measuring uh, heart rate and breathing rate. Well, how can it do that with a dot like this? So what's going on inside? So what's going on inside is essentially it's measuring electrical activity inside of your body the same way it would if you were hooked up 
to a heart monitor in a hospital. <laughs> but if you just wear a shirt, is it tight enough to kind of like get good readings? So, so typically on these shirts, there'll be a compression shirt, so it'll be tight enough to get a good reading, but the materials have to have some stretch to work with that, and that's where some of the material challenges come in that we've solved with these, uh, with these particular inks. And the battery life is going to be great? Are you, are you working on, on flexible batteries or some other guys? So we're not working on flexible batteries, but we've worked with a number of partners where we've seen some really interesting innovation in the space, and of course, uh, we see that that could become very ubiquitous and, and uh, be in everyone's closet in the next few years. Awesome. This is going to be really interesting to shop for, for our clothes. It's going to be more interesting for the geeks to go uh, shopping. I can't wait till Christmas season this year because I think I'm going to be getting some cool stuff under the tree.